guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, most of you know me as the Reptiles though, and this here is my new snake, Calypso. So if you watched my last video all about quarantining, you would have gotten to meet her because she did just come out of quarantine, so we talked about that. But now she's out of quarantine, you guys get to meet her, and I have been so excited to share her with you guys, although I won't lie, I've really enjoyed just having some time to keep her to myself and just enjoy her before sharing her with the rest of the world. However, she is such a good girl and she's so beautiful that I just couldn't wait to share her with you guys. So you guys know, well, those of you that have been here while know, that I absolutely love rainbow boas. Rainbow boas are my favorite snakes. However, I don't limit that to just Brazilian rainbow boas. I love all rainbow boas and Colombians are something that I have found absolutely fascinating. So I thought it was really funny that Go Herping just recently put out a video with the two Colombians that he got saying that you know he wasn't really into them and whatnot, they were kind of dull, and I understand what he was saying, but personally I absolutely love Colombian rainbow boas. In fact, I actually find her, I don't know if you can see right now, I actually find her very iridescent um, because she doesn't have all these crazy markings involved in it. It's just her color and the iridescence. And I think she's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to cover a couple things right off the bat first before we talk about her. So I know some people may be wondering why I got a new snake after in my Q&A video I said I probably wasn't going to get any more animals for a while because I was settling in, I just moved, etc, etc. Well, once I got settled in and I had my own place and all the reptiles had a spot, I felt very comfortable. I got established in my job and I had a morning routine and I just felt very comfortable with the amount of animals I had. I felt comfortable taking care of them. I had a routine, it was great. When <laughs> at the zoo, because I do work at a zoo, when I started handling their rainbow boa and using her for programs, I was just reminded how much I love them and that there's literally a hole in my heart from my rainbow boas. So for those that are new, I have had two Brazilian rainbow boas in the past year. They were both babies. I had Apollo first. I bought him for my birthday last summer and he ended up unfortunately escaping a couple months later and was never found and that absolutely broke my heart i was devastated i was a mess for a good week at least and i was just crying i didn't want to do anything i skipped classes i called in sick to my internship i literally just laid in bed and was miserable because i finally had my dream snake what are you doing I finally had my dream snake and he was an absolute sweetheart, he was gorgeous, and he escaped. So I was heartbroken. So fast forward to this past February, I just couldn't stop thinking about Apollo. I missed having a rainbow boa, so I contacted the breeder and asked if he had any more of the siblings because I wanted one of Apollo's siblings. And sure enough, he still had quite a few. So I got a little girl from her, or from him, and I named her Artemis. So that was kind of why I wanted a sibling, was because he was Apollo and I wanted one to name Artemis, kind of as a tribute to Apollo. So I had a brother and a sister. Now Artemis, unfortunately, passed away unexpectedly. I did make a video about that. Um, I'm not sure why. One of my good friends also had a rainbow boa from him, same clutch, and he also ended up unexpectedly passing away shortly before Artemis did. So we started to wonder if maybe it was genetic because there was no reason for her to have passed away. Her care was spot on, her temperature was spot on, humidity was spot on. So I'm not entirely sure what happened there. So after that, I swore off rainbow boa babies. I said the only way I would ever get another rainbow boa was if it was a sub-adult or adult, but it had already made it out of that baby phase where they're super sensitive and whatnot because I was just having horrible luck with babies and I couldn't do it anymore. It was just breaking my heart. So I decided I just skipped that, hold out, 
and invest in a adult rainbow boa or sub-adult rainbow boa and that way I can hold out and maybe wait for one that need to be rehomed. So like I was saying, I started holding and working with the rainbow boa at the zoo, which reopened that hole in my heart. And I was like, you know what? I'm in a place right now where I feel totally confident and comfortable taking on another snake. So I put out some posts on Craigslist looking to see if anyone had one to be rehomed. I wasn't gonna go nuts and like go find a breeder or a pet store and buy one. I was gonna hold out for one that needed to be rehomed or adopted. And I got a few people that texted me or emailed me about their Brazilians. Um, some of them, the price was just a little more than I wanted to pay for a rehomed animal, um, especially being that I'm living on my own now, I'm working on budgeting. I gave myself a budget on what I would be willing to spend at the time on a rainbow boa because if there wasn't one in that budget, I could technically wait um, and just wait for the right one. And then this breeder, this ball python breeder, emailed me saying he had a Colombian rainbow boa he wanted to rehome. And that was it for me. Once he said Colombian, I was like, I will pay you whatever. Because I just feel like you don't see them that often, especially being rehomed. So the fact that I could do this, I could get a rainbow boa, I could get a Colombian rainbow boa, and I could get it in a rehoming situation. So I'm not technically paying a breeder or paying a pet store. It was being rehomed to me. So that was that. <laughs> um, I did talk him down a little bit on the price because I drove just about two hours to go get her. Um, so funny story, I actually picked her up at a gas station down the road from the house that I've got zero at. So when I got Zero, you guys know that story, he came from a very smoked in home and he felt like he had a, oh, what are you doing? He felt like he had a film on him. Once I left that house, I felt like I had a film on me. Um, so I drove to the nearest gas station where I could wash my hands, kind of wash my face, the whole nine yards. And that was that gas station. So when I pulled into that gas station, I was like, wow, deja vu. Um, and then I met them and got Calypso here. So how he got her, so he got a whole bunch of snakes because um, he's a ball python breeder. So he bought a whole bunch of snakes at once. And in that mix of snakes was Calypso, this rainbow boa. And you know, he wasn't into rainbow boas. He wasn't a rainbow boa breeder. So he really had no reason to keep her. And then he saw my post looking for a rainbow boa and contacted me and that's how this happened. So previously she was on live mice, however, before giving her to me, he did make sure that she would take a frozen thawed. And he actually did two feedings. He did one where it worked and he let me know. And I was like, oh, perfect. And he was great. He said, you know, I would feel more comfortable if we waited so I could do a second feeding with her so I can guarantee that she will consistently take frozen thawed before I give her to you. And I was totally fine with that because I mean, just look at what happened with Penelope, my hog nose. She was on a frozen thawed, or yeah, she was on frozen thawed. And then the minute I got her, she didn't want frozen thought anymore. So I was like, I, I can appreciate that. So week goes by, he feeds her again, she takes it. And that was it, she became mine. <laughs> so she is extremely friendly, extremely good girl, extremely gorgeous. And I'm not gonna lie, I think she might be going into shed. She's looking a little duller than she normally does. This is about what she looked like when I brought her home. Um, and when I brought her home, I actually didn't know she was in shed. I woke up the next day to a perfect shed. And she's actually the first snake that has given me a full perfect shed. The other snakes have been close, but usually they're missing the little piece under the mouth. Like it has the head, it has the eyes, but it's missing the under the mouth piece. She was the first snake to give me a full shed complete with the head, the mouth, everything, which was super awesome. And it's now hanging in my mudroom, <laughs> which is how my mom found out about her because she saw that and asked which snake it came from. So I told her and my mom was actually totally fine with this because it's a rainbow boa and because she is so well behaved. Like I took her and I was holding her and my mom was like, oh my God, she's like so chill. I was like, yep, I know. So you guys know I love Greek mythology. I love the names in Greek mythology. For a while there, I was trying to keep my animal names kind of in that era. Um, so I have Arcadius, I had Zephyr, then I got Apollo. Since then it kind of went downhill because I started doing other names. I mean, I brought it back a little bit for Perseus, my cupid 
Many of you probably don't realize his name is Perseus because I call him Percy for short. Um, but his name is actually Perseus. Um, what else? Oh, I have Phoenix. Um, but that's, that's about it. All the rest don't really have Greek mythology names. However, my rainbow boas always did. I had Apollo, and then I had Artemis, so I wanted to stick with that because that'll be kind of my rainbow boa theme. So we went with Calypso, and Calypso is a name of one of the nymphs in Greek mythology, and I just think Calypso is fitting for something that's all rainbowy. So that's how she got her name. I am pretty sure that she's a female. It's supposed to be pretty easy to tell with rainbow boas. You're supposed to just be able to feel, and I didn't feel what I was supposed to be feeling for a male, so I'm like, 70% sure that she's a she. Um, so we're just gonna roll with it because not like I'm ever gonna breed her. So she can be whatever I want her to be technically. <laughs> now, he told me she was about two foot long. I'm gonna go with three foot. She's a pretty big girl. I'm gonna say more than two. I'm gonna say closer to three. I also have no idea how old she is um because he just got her with a bunch of other snakes and he said she wasn't a baby i think she was probably about two foot when he got her um so i have no idea how old she actually is um considering that she was two foot and now she's three foot she's clearly still growing so i mean maybe she's about two three years old two or three years old i'm not really sure if you guys have a guess leave a comment tell me how old you think she might be um, but I have no idea and sometimes that's just what happens when you have a rehomed animal or you adopt an animal or you rescue an animal and sometimes you won't know their age. That's just kind of what happens sometimes. Yeah, so I was also very excited to get her because by the looks of it she was in a bare minimum rack system which I personally don't like. Um, so now she's got a tub with lots of dirt. She will move into an enclosure in my bedroom with all the other animals on the big rack. Once I get Crikey a new enclosure, I want to get him a 4x2x2 two 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 that's front opening. I am actively looking for one now. Um, I just haven't found someone selling one yet. Once I do that, I can drop my shelves and then I can easily reach the top shelf, move stuff around and get her in there. So right now she's still over in the quarantine area, but she's the only animal over there. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but she will hopefully be moved into the bedroom soon. I just have to get Crikey his new enclosure. So yeah, that is Calypso. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my new snake. I'm like over ecstatic about the fact that I have a rainbow boa again. Like I feel content. I feel like I have everything I could ever want. I'm just so happy. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of Calypso or my other animals, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And we'll see you for the next video.